So it is 12.52 p.m. June 27, 2020, and we are starting Wild Arms 5 for the Sony PlayStation 2. I'm excited. I've really been looking forward to this. Um, this game is much better than Wild Arms 4 um, in pretty much every way. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah. So this is the final game in the Wild Arms series, unless you count Crossfire. Although that's more of a side game. Um, I may need to turn down the volume here, I don't know. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Do, do, do. I think we're good though. So yeah, this game also celebrates the the tenth year anniversary of the series in a number of ways, and we'll kind of get to it. It shows all the characters here. There are six characters in this game, which is pretty awesome. There's a shovel there, which is actually important. <laughs> You'll see why. It's not just some random shovel. It actually is important, if I remember correctly. That is a really good opening theme, though. Just push start. Um, so... So, f f fun fact, I've only played through this once, but I never got to finish it because there was... Something happened. I don't remember exactly what, but... There was some kind of game-breaking glitch that prevented me from continuing. I don't remember really much about it. I just remember it was in a dungeon, and it was sad, and, you know, uh, yeah. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Okay, calm down, man. So, um, hopefully that's not gonna happen here. And if it does, I'll definitely find a way around it. But I, I think I pretty much just said screw it, and... Moved on to another game back then, but we're not doing that here. We are g g gonna beat the game. This is a really good game. Um, for, for, a, for a lot of reasons that we'll get into. Let us see, we'll just start a new game, and, uh, you know, X-File key. We don't have any X-File keys because we just started the game. I don't think you can import completed Wild Arms 4 data. I don't think so, but you never know. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it, shall we? New game, and it'll be pretty sweet. And, yeah. And, yeah. Tutorials. See, button config. Custom. What can you change? Can you make it so dash and, like, action are different? I don't know if you can do that or not, but... Encounters on and off. I guess that's similar to Wild Arms 4, huh? Oh, well, it's R2. That's cool. Switch mode R1. Cartridge back. Cartridge is forward. We'll get it. We'll get into what that means, but that 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 that's quite important. Menu. Good menus back to triangle. I hated Wild Arms 4 how they had menus circle. It was just dumb. I mean, triangle's always menu, dude. You know, unless it start. Unless it start. Action is square, jump is circle. Yeah, they're still jumping in this game. Although I don't remember it being as dumb as in <laughs> Wild Arms 4, but I could be wrong. Which view is square, cancel, X confirm. Okay. I think that pretty much works for me. Uh, let's see. The salty referee. Cursor memory. We want it to remember. Just because voices custom. Okay, but that that's unique. You can put like how frequently characters use you you use their voices. That's <laughs> that's interesting. So you can do NPCs or Dean. Yeah, Dean's the main character, by the way. Dean Ambrose. Dean Winchester. Y you know how it is. Guess we'll just do the most. I mean. I love voices, so... Even if they're bad voices, they're still entertaining, so we'll just have that at 10. 
movie subtitles on, of course. Field camera left, right. I pretty much like that how it is. Some people like to invert, like the camera, but, uh, you know. I like to just have it normal. Battle camera, top, normal. I think normal's better. I don't remember. Accelerator, select whether to skip battle animations. Nah. I like battle animations. Volume. You always gotta have the voices higher so they're not drowned out by sound effects. Okay, that should be good. Stand up adventure style. Vibration on, screen position, that's good. Tutorials. Tutorials. Guess we can't look at tutorials. Except for these. Tutorials. Tutorials can be reread by choosing the tutorial option on the system menu. Isn't that nice? <laughs> There's a tutorial on tutorials. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. <laughs> Title screen. Press the start button when the MediaVision logo is displayed to skip to the title logo. Oh my god. You know, with that in place, Vegastar might actually not quit at the title screen. He might actually find his way through it. Books. The various books that can be obtained during the adventure are not absolutely necessary to complete the game, but can provide valuable insight into useful battle techniques. Hasty Steven 66! Skipping movies. Press the start button to skip movies. Okay, that's brief. <laughs> Skipping events. Press and hold the R1 button to speed through events. You can also press the start button to skip events completely. We don't want to do that, you know, unless we, like, die and then have to watch watch events again. I don't want to do that. I'm doing pretty good. Hope you're doing well. X-File. So this teaches you how to watch the X-Files. The X-File menu allows you to view the result of your playthrough or other extras included in the game. There are six options, but each must be unlocked by meeting certain conditions during gameplay. Pretty much the same as it always is. Strawberry milkshake, that sounds yummy, actually. So there's more, but obviously we unlock them as we go. Let's start the game, shall we? That, that sounds like a good idea. I don't know about you, but... Phil Gaia, a world divided. A world of masters and slaves of fear, hatred, and despair. And birds, apparently. All this music, though. It's so wild, Arms. An ordinary boy from the countryside set out to bring change Doesn't to that desolate world. Of that? I've never seen him hit anything. Not once. This is his story. See, I told you it it wasn't Titus's story. So this is Dean Stark. Wild Arms 5. We beat the game already. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this stream. He's got a shovel. All right, time to dig. No small fry for me today. This time I'm gonna bring home the big one. I told you that shovel will be important. It will be very important. So we gain control already. It really doesn't... And you can control the camera in this game. Thank you, Media Vision. And this is a theme that we'll be hearing a lot. It's so good. So you move with the D-pad. You don't move with the uh, left analog stick like you would think. You can jump. It's pretty awesome. Stomping lo looks a lot cooler in, in this game than it did in Wild Arms 4. You can crowd and slide. Sliding also looks cooler. You can pause. You, you can push select to, to highlight certain things. 
You can go to the menu. Even the menu looks better than in Wild Arms 4. <laughs> so, of course, a lot of the uh, options we can't access until we unlock them. So... Name something associated with the X-Files. Both contestants do nothing. We can show you an episode while we're waiting. Ho <laughs> ho Denied. Okay. So we got items. Ma manage the items in your inventory. We have no items. So there's different categories. Field items, battle items, arm parts, armor, badges, golem parts. Th th that'll be important eventually. And books. We don't have any literature because we got thrown out of the library before we got a chance to check out any books. Sucked, man. Status. So we got Dean. He's a pretty cool guy. We don't have any other characters to change to right now. We can change pages. So there's a stat. Stats are pretty much the same as in most Wild Arms games. Although there are some different stats in this game. There's your typical attack man. DP. Which basically the higher your DP is, the um... Basically, DP, uh, like, uh, d delays an enemy's turn if you'd hit them. So, th so the higher that is, the more it, it can delay their turn, I do believe. Defense is defense. Rest is, uh, resistance. You know, like, magic defense, basically. EP is... I don't know. I don't remember what EP does, but it's probably important. M m m maybe it's for, like, special attacks. I really don't remember. Hit is, of course, you, you know, your accuracy. Evasion is your evasion. Reflex is your speed. Pretty much how that goes. Weapon, Black Fenrir. It's a shovel. Yeah, the shovel's called Black Fenrir, which is a pretty badass name for a shovel. And a fiber coat. And as you can see, uh, badges are basically like accessories, like in Wild Arms 4. But I, I believe you unlock the... You unlock more slots for badges, like every, like... 10 or 20 levels, something like that. Something like that. So, original commands, we got nothing because we have no skills. We're freaking talentless fucks. Skills, nothing. Force, nothing. You pretty much start with nothing because... Because... You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. All right. Options, we kind of already did options, but, you know. Bum, bum, bum. I kind of want to, uh... Do that. Okay. That should be good. Alright, well, what do we got going on here? Move the hand. It, it is kind of where that, that we actually can't move with the, uh... The, uh, what's it called? The left analog stick. That is kind of weird, but I almost kind of, I almost kind of wish you could. Can you change it so you can? I'm kind of curious about that. I don't think you can, but uh... no, you can't. It's not a big deal, but I kind of wish you could. But you know, oh no, 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 no. Discard changes. We we, we don't want to do that. So this is the hillside ruins. There's two chests. There are 362 chests in this game. That, that's like more than double in double Wild Arms 4's chests. So it's kind of weird. Kind of getting used to the camera system here. Do, 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 do. So I think there's actually uh, six chests, but, but, but we can only get two. We got to come back later for more. So this screen's kind of like a... Oh, I, I, I gotta get used to this because the menu and jump buttons are, like, swapped from from Wild yeah. Arms 4. But yeah, the, 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 the screen is kind of like a test screen to kind of get used to the controls and such. See, see out of habit, I keep, uh... I keep pushing triangle to jump like it was in Wild Arms 4. 
But that's not how it is here, man. That's not how it is. I can't go back to the village before I found what I came for. Yep, Dean is the main character. He's a lot better than Jude. Alright, let's go into here. Yeah, so I think you can... Yeah, you can push select to turn the uh, markers off. They pretty much show, like, e entrances and that kind of dealio. That kind of dealio. Do do do. Kind of got to get used to how the camera works. Uh oh. Oh. The field camera. Use the right analog stick to control the field camera. Be sure to inspect each area carefully. You may find hidden objects in unexpected places. Yeah, well. You can move the camera, which is so nice. Ooh. We got coins! You know, because we need to get a one-up. Because we don't want to see that illustrious game over screen. Yeah, the spinning coins are actually gala, if you couldn't guess. The battle system is... They... For this game, they they pretty much took the battle system from Wild Arms 4 and just improved it in every way. So, that's pretty much how that works. Do, 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 do. We get some money. Yeah, there's not really an acceleration mode to to get money that way. So, so you just like find it laying around. Ooh, refried beans in Walmart. And you have a compass, which is incredibly helpful. I see chests. I see chests! I want these chests! Man, the only two chests you, you can get in here for now. But we'll be coming back later. Two heal berries. And two break gems. Yeah. Our first items. Isn't that awesome? Heal berries. R restores 500 HP. Break. Earth elemental magic attack. Noise. Yeah, it's, it's weird because you have to navigate the menu with the analog stick. Some menus, which is kind of odd, but, but you know, it's how it is, man. Alright, I think that's all we can do in here. Bum, bum, bum. We, got, we obviously want to go over here. So this is obviously the tutorial dungeon. Press the X button to take a hold of a block. While holding it, use the left analog stick to push or pull the block forward or backward. Yeah, so it's pretty simple stuff. Yeah. Move that camera. Woohoo! Victorious! Lancer class, do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. Ooh boy. What do we got going on over here? Yeah. 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 Oh. Though you actually can't double jump like you can in Wild Arms 4, although maybe you can at some point, I don't remember. Route trackers. The markers that indicate connections between areas are called route trackers. Blue markers indicate routes that have yet to be explored, while yellow markers indicate routes that have already been taken. The red marker indicates the route that was most recently used. Press the select button to toggle route trackers on or off. Yeah. It's pretty much been... They've used that, that system ever since Wild Arms 3. So... Pretty much the same dealio. More tutorials. Sliding. Press the square button to make Dean crouch down. While crouching, tilt the left analog stick to slide in any direction. 
Sliding can be used to break certain types of objects. Actually, it's a C. Maybe we can, like, switch this. What the hell? See if I can switch the mode. Maybe that'll, uh... See if that works, but then I think my controls will be messed up. See that switches to PlayStation 3 controller mode. I don't want to do that. Steam just opened up. What the beep, man? You need to get out of here, sir. Nah. We're, we're just gonna have to do it like that. That's fine, though. Okay, you need to stop doing that. Okay. Do, do, do. Alrighty then. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I see money. Huh? Oh, that's a notebook. Huh? A notebook? What's it doing here? I wonder whose it is. Nope, it's on the PS2. A honey bosom maiden sleeps restlessly amidst the spring breeze. Yearning for the arrival of a handsome prince and his glorious white steed. Honey bosomed? What the heck does that mean? Oh no. This must be Rebecca's poetry journal. And now I've gone and read it too. She, she's gonna be so pissed at me. Ugh. I guess I could just pretend I never saw it here. No, I couldn't do that. It's like a treasure to her after all. I know I'd really be upset if I lost my Nightburn picture. <laughs> yeah, keep Nightburn in mind. He's gonna be a recurring theme. Guess I'll bring it back to her. We get Rebecca's journal. Do 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 do. Rebecca's journal. Rebecca's poetry journal. Found by Dean in the ruins near 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 Capo Bronco, which is the name of our of Dean's town. Okay. I don't think we got anything else. Alrighty then. Do do do. Alrighty then. What are we doing here? Do 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 do. Bum ba bum ba bum. Nope. There aren't. There aren't different characters' prologues in this one. Dig here, okay. Nothing but dirt. Nothing, huh? Well, I'm not gonna give up just yet. Bum, bum, bum. So this door, I don't think we can open yet. I wonder what's up with this door. It, it doesn't want to open no matter what I try. Oh well. This, is, this isn't what I came for anyway. Hmm. Looks like there's torches or something. So I think there's pots that we can destroy. Maybe not those, but... Yeah, these, because those are like embedded into the ground. There you go. We got something. Yeah, you you can't actually pick them up. You gotta slide into them for some unknown reason. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you the items that you get. So you just kind of gotta check the menu. We got a, a fire gem and a vortex gem. Fire elemental magic attack. Wind Elemental Magic Attack. Quidio. And we just want to check these glowing spots. Obtain Water Gem! Hmm. This isn't it. Oh well, guess I'll hang on to it. It might come in handy someday. But probably not. Probably not. Water Elemental Magic Attack. That's the stuff. Hostess. Nothing but dirt. Ah, this always happens. I'll find something yet. Just you watch. Who's he talking to? 
What the freak, man? I think he's talking to Stand Up Adventures, but who knows? Obtain 50 gala! Darn, just some gala. There's nothing wrong with a little spending money, but that's not what I came here for. I'll dig up this whole place if that's what it takes. I have to find it. You gotta find it, man. Well, whatever it is you're looking for, we don't know, but you gotta find it. Yes, this is it! A real golem part, finally! Oh man, this is so great. The real thing feels so different. I wonder what part it is. The color, the shape, the weight, the feel. This one's gotta be special. I just know it. I can't wait to take it back to the village and get old man Tony to take a look at it. In every Wild, wild Arms game, there's always a Tony. Always. And if it really is the real thing, then finally... We get a golem part, which I guess is what he came here for. Bum ba bum. We got a golem part. A golem part found by Dean in the ruins near Capo Bronco. Yeah. Also, you can hold triangle. Or, yeah, t yeah tr triangle to speed the, d the description bar faster if you want to do that, which I guess is cool. Okay, so that's all we can do here. Um, we have 58 gala, by the way. We're broke l l little SOBs. Hey, there's something else we can find. One gala! <laughs> Woo! Guess I may as well head back to the village now. I gotta get the old man to check out this new golem part after all. One gala. Very nice. Let's get out of here. There actually isn't a screensaver, sadly. At least not that I'm aware of. Wild Arms 4 and 5 do don't have screensavers, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad, but that's how it is. Yeah. There's also no battles in here, if you couldn't tell. Which, which is probably a good thing, since we only have a shovel, and that's probably not exactly going to help us out that much. It's not like we have an arm or anything. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Okay. Tony! Tony! Yeah, I guess there's no saying jump anymore. Look what I found! Check it out, see? It's the real thing this time, I know it! Well, quite a feisty one we've got here, and just who might you be, lad? Come on, it's me, Dean! Quit joking around! Heh heh heh, good to see you so lively, Dean. Nice headband you, you, you got there, dude. Kind of looks like something the Basker would wear. So you went to those old ruins again, did you? How did it go this time? Great. This one's the real deal. I'm sure of it. Here, take a look. All right, all right. No, no need to make a fuss over it. Let's see. Looks like a carburetor. Well, well. So what do you think? I really found one this time, didn't I? Indeed, it seems you have. It's a bit damaged, but there's no question it's part of a golem. Cool. Y you know wild arms are always all about the golems. I give you my word as the world's finest golem engineer. Those ruins may have been practically stripped bare, you know. I'm impressed you managed to find anything in there. Really? Awesome! I can't believe it's the real thing. I finally did it. You gotta love Dean's scarf. Thanks, Tony. This is exactly what I needed. 
Mm, just what I needed. Needed? What kind of mischief are you cooking up this time? Sorry, that's a secret. Apparently, uh, Dean lo looks up to Jack, so he's all about causing trouble. Anyway, do you know where Rebecca is? I've got something for her. Rebecca? I think I saw her over by the bridge. Great, thanks. See you later. We gotta find Rebecca. So we're at Capo Bronco, which is Dean's hometown, so to speak. So there's two chests in this place. And we can get them all, so that's nice. So you can kind of look around, you know, take anything you can get. There's a car here. We can try and make off with a car. That, 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 that'd be pretty sweet. This is what happens when old man Tony has too much to drink. That blade of his is lethal. So a car getting cut in half, that that that's a definite reference to Wild Arms 4. I mean, obviously. What else we got going on around here? Hey, hey, how you doing, man? If you're looking for Rebecca, head towards the village entrance. I believe I saw her over near where the road forks. She's been running around all day looking for something. I wonder what she's after. I don't know. Don't ask me, hee hee hee. The hinges on old man Tony's door barely work anymore. You need to kick it hard j just to get it to open. Can we kick it? I'm kicking it, but it still won't open! Damn it! <laughs> this seems to be filled with vegetable oil. I guess they use it for cooking or something. Go for the last one! Anything else we can check out here? Who's this fart knocker? Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Secret police chief? Don't you think there's something fishy about this old man Tony guy? A golem engineer? Living in this tiny backwater town? It's weird, man. I've decided to form a secret police squad to investigate the old coot. I bet he's creating evil golems in his basement. Listen, Dean, I, I like you. I'm gonna let you be a secret police agent, too. If you see anything suspicious at all, you report it to me immediately, you got it? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll get right on that, kid. Okay, shut up. Shut up, man! Alright, let's get out of here. So they put a lot more detail into this game than, than they did with Wild Arms 4. Allowing you to check stuff out and... The, 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 there's a bike and it's probably a Schwinn. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen that bike before. Does it belong to someone in the village? Maybe. Take it! Go, go for a freaking bike ride, man. You know you want to. Do it! Don't make me come over there. Oh boy, look at this place. This place is crazy. Do do do. So we want to talk to some people around here. From you can get something from one of them. Is it you? Yeah, strong-willed shop mistress. What's this? You're heading off on another adventure? For crying out loud, Dean! You sure do get around. Ah, uh, sorry, darling. The shop's not ready to open yet. Try and hold out just a bit longer, all right? Oh, hey, before you go, here, you should take this. You know what they say, adventure and danger go hand in hand. And we get a gala card. Like, like right away. It's a gala card, real useful. Doubles the amount of money that monsters drop when you beat them in battle. Back in the day when I was a drifter, I used to live for those things. In that line of work, you never know when you're going to find yourself flat broke. Ain't that the truth. Next time you run into a foe that looks like it's loaded with cash, make sure you try it. Okay. Can you hang on for a bit, Dean? We're still prepping the shop. Well, I don't really have <laughs> money anyway. I have 59 gala, so it's probably not going to buy a whole lot. 
So we got our first Gala card. You definitely want to hold on to those. Doubles Gala earned from battle. So instead of use in this game, instead of using it on the enemy, you actually use it on yourself, which I think is a lot better. Much like in the first two games. So I think it's much better. What the hell is this? Oh my god! It's a memory bird from the from the first game. That is nostalgia right there, I'll tell you what. Well, hello there, friend. This is your first time, huh? Here, take a pamphlet. Memory birds. Press the X button to talk to a memory bird, and the party's HP and MP will be fully restored, which it didn't do in the first game. You can also save your game to a memory card, PS2. Choose hint on the menu that appears to save... that, that appears at save points or memory birds. Have Dean muse to himself about the party's current situation. His dialogue will change as the story progresses, and can be used as a... Progress reminder when resuming a saved game. So this is definitely a reference to the first game. Don't let pride get the better of you. Act now and save today. Hint. I wonder where Rebecca went. I've, I've got to get this journal back to her. I bet she's going to freak out when she finds out I read it. Yeah, yeah, so that kind of points you to what you need to do next. You know, in case you're picking up... The, your save file for, for the first time in a while. We're gonna drop a save. It's gonna be pretty sweet. We saved our game! Aren't we cool? You're damn right we are. Okay.